Hello. In this tutorial video, we're going to look at the service tools that are provided as part of the Tillit and Haig Vision Guidance System. When you power up the system, you are presented with a startup menu which includes a touch screen button labelled with a tools symbol. If you touch this button, you will be presented with a list of service tools. Use the arrow keys on the right to move the cursor up and down the list. We will start by having a look at the archived logs. Use an arrow key to move the cursor to the correct line and use the enter key to select that option. This is an archive of error messages that have been deleted from the error log accessed from the status and diagnostics page. It is therefore only necessary to view this archive if you believe relevant messages have been deleted. To go back, we press the loop back arrow button. Next on the list is the backup configuration to USB stick tool. If you insert a USB stick into the socket at the base of the console and select backup, a compressed file named backup.tgz will be created onto your stick. If there is already a backup file or files on the USB stick, then the system creates a new one with a numeric suffix. This file can be stored on a normal computer as a precaution against a possible future need to restore your configuration onto a new console. The file can also be emailed to an expert who can use the information it contains to assist with remote fault diagnosis. In addition to the configuration files, the backup file also includes copies of the error log, save settings and various software and hardware system information. The restore function looks for files named backup.tgz on a USB stick. If there is more than one backup file on the stick, as is the case here, you will be offered a choice as to which one is restored. You will then be offered a further choice as to what data is restored. If you are replacing a faulty console, you will probably want to select all data, as that will copy across all your configuration files and settings. If you are a manufacturer who wants to set up a new machine with a standard configuration, but does not want to copy data such as error logs, then it is probably best to select just configuration. The restore function replaces, but does not delete any files. So the final list of configuration files is a combination of sets that were previously on the console and those that had been added as a result of the restore process. Note, the restore function does not alter the guidance software. The next line, apply update from a USB device, is used to update guidance system software. It looks for files on a USB stick prefixed by the word update and with the file extension .tgz. If there is more than one file on the USB stick conforming to that format, you will be offered a choice as to which to apply. The next line, capture images to a USB device, when selected will capture an image from the camera and store it onto a USB stick with the file name image and the extension .tif. If you capture multiple images, they will be stored with a numeric suffix in ascending numeric order. If there are multiple cameras connected to the system, you will be offered the choice as to which camera to capture from. These images can be viewed or copied from the USB stick in the normal way. This can be a useful feature for remote diagnosis. In combination with a backup file, it provides an expert with the next best thing to be in the field with you. The line Adjust Camera Allocation is only relevant to machines with multiple cameras and allows you to change the order in which cameras appear. The narrow arrow keys move the cursor up and down. The wider arrow keys move the highlighted camera up and down the list. 
For example, if you have two cameras, you can use this function to ensure the leftmost camera appears as the first on this list, and therefore as the leftmost thumbnail on the working screen. The penultimate line, Remove Software, is a function intended only for use by experts who are making major software changes. It allows deletion of software from the system that normal users cannot reload and is therefore a function that should only be used with great caution and only after some very expert advice. Reset Pin allows you to alter the pin required to enter the configuration editor. We hope you found this video useful. And remember to look out for our other tutorials. More details about us and our products can be found on our website. Thanks for watching.